does cloths really cause hair breakage in this video i'll be discussing and also showing you how to properly use cloths for maximum hair growth and also how to avoid hair breakage if you find this video helpful definitely give this girl a huge thumbs up and without further ado let's dive right into the video <music> Cloth is one of the ingredients I recently started incorporating into my hair care routine. As you guys have seen in most of my videos, it is one of the ingredients that is really, really beneficial to hair growth. So ever since I started making use of cloths, I've seen really huge improvement in texture and length. But on the other hand, some people are of the impression that cloths causes hair breakage. And I've gotten some comments where people claim that cloths actually break off their hair after making use of it. That is why I've decided to make this video to actually clear up this misconception. Cloths does not cause hair breakage when used on the hair. There are so many ways we can actually incorporate cloths into, you know, our hair care routine. And the most common way people make use of cloth on their hair is the cloth water. Um, this cloth water is like one of the simplest methods you can actually make use of cloths. So now that is where the problem comes in. For those people that are claiming that cloths actually cause their hair to break off, so hair breakage can also be as a result of moisture overload. So this literally means the um, excess of moisture on the hair. So this moisture overload mostly affects people with low porosity hair. The cloth water obviously is moisture, right? It is water. So when it's applied to the hair regularly or on daily basis, this will eventually lead to moisture overload for those who um you know have like low porosity hair i have used cloth on my hair every day for um, more than two weeks and i didn't experience something like that but i know that there are so many people who have actually tried um tried cloth water on their hair and they actually got amazing results but on the other hand there are some people who claim that this actually break off their hair that is why i'm trying to set this straight that it is as a result of moisture overload due to their hair um, being you know low porosity uh, for low porosity hair you don't need to apply moisture on the hair every day so when there is moisture overload especially on low porosity hair this weakens the hair shaft and makes you know the hair to break off easily compared to people who with um, high porosity hair or even medium porosity hair these two hair type can handle the moisture and will even thrive more when moisture is applied to the hair regularly now that i've gotten that out of the way let's move on to how to properly apply cloths to your hair if your hair is low porosity to avoid a moisture overload so if you must use cloth water ensure you use it correctly I advise applying cloths to your hair at intervals you don't have to do it every day i do it every day i have done it every day but my, I, my hair got different results because my hair absorbs water okay it's like moisture helps my hair to thrive okay but that cannot be compared to people with low porosity hair so like i said if you want to really use cloths on your hair so many people use cloths okay i'm not going to say just because it breaks off your hair you shouldn't do it because cloths is very very beneficial to the hair but if you must use it then you should ensure you use it correctly so um as for low porosity you i advise you use at intervals as opposed to those with high porosity that can actually use it you know every day so you can actually use it two to three times in a week so when applying it make sure to focus it directly onto your scalp and also lightly spritz the cloth water onto your scalp you don't want to soak your hair in it just slightly spritz it onto your hair so that your scalp can easily absorb the moisture another tip i'm going to give is to avoid using heavy creams to lubricate after moisturizing instead of making use of heavy creams to lubricate your hair after moisturizing i advise you go in with lightweight oils like almond oil jojoba oil um argan oil and the likes so this will help prevent the hair follicles from clogging up but another way you can also make use of your cloths if you don't want to use it you know as a um, leave-in spray you can actually stick to using cloth oil on your 
hair. But clove oil is another amazing way you can actually get the benefits of that clove. Another way you can also make use of your cloves is by also making use of it as a clove um, rinse. So after your wash day, um, make use of the um, clove water as your final rinse and just leave it in, okay? Uh, I think I'll be linking my video where I, you know, showed f um, five different ways you can actually make use of clove for your hair and all this method that i've talked about it's in the video so make sure to check it out i'll be linking the videos somewhere here in the cards so make sure to check that out i just wanted to put this out there because i've had um cases whereby some people come to me and tell me their hair is damaged and they are trying to make it longer so the thing is this i actually talked to somebody about this um a while back some people need to get this straight so people with damaged hair should focus more on getting it healthier so one thing um, some people fail to understand is that when your hair is damaged, it will be very difficult for it to retain length. So once you've nursed your hair back to health, this will help facilitate your hair growth process. So guys, that brings me to the end of this video. I hope this video was very, very helpful. I hope I have been able to, you know, set some things straight. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them on the comment section. Make sure you like, subscribe if you haven't done that already. Make sure to turn on that bell notification so you won't miss out on any of my, my future videos. Thank you so, so much for watching this video and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.